Hi, my name is Tina. If you want to eat something good, you're going to have to work on it. Kalisa's Orexy. And this is Yamas with Yaya. Hi, welcome to my kitchen. My name is Tina, and this is Yamas with Yaya. Today I'm going to make you a very, very nice uh, dish. It's with chicken. We call it chicken yuvechi. This is my ingredients that I'm going to use. And there is tomatoes, there is carrot, uh, celery and leek, and onion. Tomato paste, olive oil, um, allspice, salt, and pepper. So we'll start with this. We'll just pepper salted chicken a little bit on the top here. And uh, we'll pepper it a bit. And then we'll take some olive oil and we will drizzle right over it a little bit, not very much. And then we will rub it in. The chicken needs to be browned about from both sides about 10 minutes in, in the heating uh, pot that I'm having over there. And so we're just gonna take our chicken over there right now. Always we put our chicken in, skin down, and we don't wanna crowd our chicken, our pot. So it's going to be just a nice enough room for this one chicken here. Now, I'm going to take the chicken out and I'm going to, to put the tomato paste in. And then I'm going to put the onion, the carrot, the celery. I'm going to, to pour a, a cup of wine in it. And I'm going to let it boil for a little bit until the wine is evaporated. And then we're going to put our tomatoes in. We're going to put our all spices in, just a bit of salt, some pepper. Oh, it smells so delicious. So now we're going to, to squeeze the tomatoes by hand and we're going to pour it into that mixture. We're going to let it come to a boil and then we're going to put our chicken in here and uh, we're going to let it cook for about 20, 25 minutes. Yuvech uh, can be made with um, chicken, um, lamb, beef. Um, it's one of the, uh, the staples that uh, we have in Greece all the time. They, we, we make this, this all, all the time. This is one of what we call like um, um, here in Canada will be the, the roast beef or the pad roast or that kind of thing that you make at home and, and, and it's really, really homemade. The chicken is finished here. I'm going to transfer it to the baking dish right now, but it is so amazing. The sauce is just unbelievable. You're going to taste some of this chicken and you're just going to really, really like it. And then we're going to, to empty the sauce in there. And we're gonna add some water. And I'm gonna put it in the oven. When it boils, in the meantime, we will get our uh, orzo ready. So when you cook in rice or you cook in uh, orzo that I'm going to put in there, and you want it to remain uh, so it doesn't become just one mass, because usually the pasta sticks together. Uh, what do you do? You take a little bit of olive oil, you put it in a, in a frying pan, uh, maybe about a quarter of a cup, and then we will probably use about uh, two cups of orzo for this, uh, for this uh, uh, particular dish that we're making right now. So we're just going to roast it for a bit. And when you roast your pasta, it remains very, uh, it remains apart. It remains really, really um, nice. It doesn't, it doesn't become like a, a one, one mass. 
Okay, uh, our time is up, our chicken is done. We're going to add the pasta to it, and uh, it's got enough uh, liquid in here that the pasta will just uh, cook really nice. Look at that. Okay. And we're going to wait for the pasta to get done. The uvetch is ready. We're going to take it out of the oven and it's going to show you what it looks like. All the steam came up on my, on my glasses. This is, this is, look at this. It is so, so good. Uh, we have a little trick. We're going to take about three uh, ice cubes and we're going to, to put them into the uvetch. What happens, this is stops the, the, the process, it stops the boiling, and um, it just will, re, will uh, uh, not continue to, to cook. I'm going to take a little bit of this parsley. It just looks fabulous, don't you think? There it is. Voila. I'm going to taste it and give you the results. Mm. Very good. Tasty, not overpowering, just, it's just a very, very good flavor all around. I'm gonna have a little bit of chicken because the chicken has to have a very good taste too. Mmm. Super. Very good.